Welcome back, foul mouth fishing fam, and all my hookaholics out there. Um, well, I'm pondering what to call this video, but uh, it is that time. I was hoping to make this video two days ago, but uh, FedEx decided not to deliver my package. And I had to get on FedEx to say where is my package because it's not being delivered on time, even though it was scheduled for delivery. And then they finally decided to get off their laurels and their fat asses and actually deliver it today. <clears throat> so, uh, unfortunately I couldn't get to this earlier in the, in the morning. I had a lot to do today. It was a big, hectic, hectic day. But it's Sunday, nevertheless. And the Angler's Hall uh, for November has finally shown up. So, uh, I'd like to crack into the box for Angler's Hall and show you all the goodies, but uh, uh, there's, there's, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here because uh, we didn't get an Angler's Hall box this month. No! Angler's Hall threw a curve. Instead of the typical box where, uh, you know, you get some items and, uh, you know, you might enjoy a couple of baits and some tackle equipment and some, some tackle storage uh, uh, tools or some, some apparel. Um, this month, although... In the previous video, I alluded to multiple packages. Um, it seems I got an email that said that the original email quoting multiple packages was a uh, an error on Angl Angler's Hall's part, where uh, their blanket email kind of uh, uh, reset to a previous month's a dual package memo, and in reality, we were only getting one item. Not too pleased about that. One item, direct from manufacturer, that came in this big long tube from Favorite, which is not a bad thing, it's not a great thing, because it's only one thing, uh, but it came direct from manufacturer. Uh, that being said, I have not even received a little letter in the mail from Angler's Hall posting what this item is what this item was supposed to be, what the MSRP on this item is. Um, but, I know this is becoming a bit of a rant on Angler's Hall because I'm very honest, I'm very truthful. I, I prop up cor corporations and companies that I find faith and value in, and I will be blatantly honest and, and, and viciously truthful when it comes to, to, to things I feel are um, a little less than reputable. And in this case, for this month, Angler's Hall uh, is on that little less than reputable side uh, in, 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 my, in my belief today. <clears throat> I got an email, said that the original post that they said we'd have multiple packages was an error, and that it was actually, uh, like I said, a, a, uh, a return of a previous post, and in reality, they were doing what they're calling their first ever rod box. It's a tube, not a box, so they could just say, monthly rod promotion instead of box. But, it's not the first. Uh, a few months ago, we got a favorite rod with a box. That was the favorite rod came direct from manufacturer and we got a smaller, not as large as the one I just showed you, a smaller Angler's Hall box and in that was a handful of items. It wasn't the big, uh, you know, seven, eight item package. It was, I think, four. And then we had the, the rod, which made up for the lack of quantity in giving us quality. They're stating that this product gives me the entire value of my advanced package. It begs my question as to what those who got the Pro Box and not the advanced tier, what they actually got for this month. So I'm very interested. If you are a subscriber to Angler's Hall and you get the first tier Pro Edition rather than the top tier advanced one, I'd like to know, please uh, leave the, the link downstairs, down in the, in the comments if you have that package and posted a video on YouTube. I'd love to look at the YouTube video and see um, what you got. I have not seen any other Angler's Hall um, uh, unboxers uh, yet So for this month, so uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see what they got at in lieu of uh, Sans Rod. <clears throat> uh, that said, I had a little back and forth with uh, one of the major people at Angler's Hall. Not, not a bad conversation, a cordial conversation. Uh, deliberate and well thought out and well spoken conversation for my part and his part as well. Um, but uh, all that being said, 
what I did get was this right here. It is a 7'2 Favorites Rigged Phantom. Uh, this is, it's an R, it's a CC rod, so I'm going to say that it's it's a casting rod. But it doesn't have a pistol grip, so I'm going to, to go to the, to the blank and say that it's actually for a spinning reel. Um, but it looks like it's a casting setup. I'd have to, I'm going to have to check the, uh, the backbone on this. But... It's uh, PR PRRC, which would C would stand, uh, well, whatever. Uh, it's a 7 to 3 8 to 1 ounce, 12 to 20 pound line, uh, favorites rod. It does come with a rod sleeve, which is always, always a good thing to see. But again, uh, it did not come with any literature in the box from uh, Angler's Hall Corporation. It just strictly came, as you see, a little bit of bubble wrap on the butt end. And the rod itself. Angler's Hall has since changed their promotions. If you go back to my original videos for Angler's Hall when it was in its inaugural July box, which I got as a birthday present to myself. Um, oh, it does have a pistol grip. Okay, I just didn't see it. I didn't feel it through the uh, through the packaging. So it is a it is a bait caster. So the RCC definitely is casting. Um, the uh, the promotions that they originally start out with for Angler's Hall was at the top tier level you would get a a minimum of hundred and seventy dollars in value now they've since in this last month changed their wording and their spec for an anglers hall advanced tier to a hundred and sixty five dollars not minimum of hundred sixty five dollars but around hundred and sixty five dollars uh, and being that this had no literature that came with it uh, I decided, as you can tell, I opened it up so I could get the information. Uh, so, as a casting rod, um, I found this for $144 on uh, Fishbrain. So, you could pick this rod up for $144 on your own. Uh, it does, on average, when you go to Tackle Warehouse... Um, uh, or, or, or the other major tackle supply corps, um, it's $169.99. Uh, and that's, you know, pre-shipping or free shipping, depending. You know, $169.99 in certain uh, websites, which you add shipping to it. Uh, tackle Warehouse, it's free shipping because you're over their threshold. Uh, so I can assume to say that I can give them the benefit of the doubt and say that's $169.99. Uh, value for the rod, which puts it at that $165 threshold for their for their quotes. Uh, but being that I found it for $144, and I pay $109 for the package, for the monthly subscription, I could have just as easily gone on the website, and for $144, and I believe it was $0.27, cents, no shipping cost, I could have had the same exact rod on my own and not had to buy a month-to-month -month subscription. So if you do not have the Angler's Hall package deal for this month um, and you'd like to get this rod, uh, Fish Brain, I will leave the link down in the description for that web uh, site, and you can pick up this rod for $144, give or take. If you, uh, if you do have the advanced tier and it has not come shipped to you and you have time, I would have really wished I could have gotten this video out uh, a little sooner had known what was going on I would say pause your subscription skip over this month uh, hopefully Christmas and December will be a far better value uh, and a far better subscription for that month where you might actually get more items uh, and and see a, a, a value to it that being said I am pleased as always to get a rod <clears throat> you can never have too many rods because you know we always break them <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of favorites. I'm not a, I'm not a uh, pessimist of favorite rods. I just don't have a whole lot of experience with favorite rods. Uh, like I say, I'm more of a pen fisherman from my days in saltwater. Uh, this does have, down to those little itty-bitty micro guides, down to the micro guides, down to the end. Um, it is a single-piece construction. It's not a two-piece. The last rod we got from Angler's Hall was also the favorite. This was the Defender, and this was a two-piece rod. Uh, I paired this up with the SLX uh, DC rod that I bought uh, because it's blue and the rod's blue. Well, I should say the accents on the reel are blue and the rod's blue. Um, this actually might end up taking 
the favorite reel that we got after I got that rod. So I might just pair this red favorite reel up with this red favorite rod, although all things said, this being a medium heavy, I believe it's a fast action, um, this reel probably doesn't suit it well. I'd probably be better off with the with the DC because I'll have the seven foot two. I got the extra casting uh, leverage with the extra two inches on this as opposed to I think this is a six nine or a seven uh, seven even seven even on this uh, on the Defender. But you know, if you're going to be anal like me about color combinations, uh, this has got the little red accent and the red lettering and the crappy cheap plastic red uh, thing with the red rigged, which works. Uh, all that being said, uh, leave your comments down below. I know this is actually going to be a shorter one. Maybe it'll be under fucking 30 minutes. <laughs> but uh, tell me what you think. Um, do you think this was worth the month's subscription? Do you think it would have been better off just to pause and skip over to the next? If you are interested in Angler's Hall, which does so far, uh, you know, five out of six times, has shown to, uh, or let's see, July, August, September, October, November... Yeah, so four out of five times has seemed to be a great uh, a great addition to uh, to your anglers' um, ability to build up their arsenal with not just baits but uh, tools like rods, reels, bait storage, uh, um, and apparel uh, merchandise. So if you're interested, I will leave a link for Anglers Hall. Uh, down also in the comments so you can pick up a box uh, check the web for promos there might be some some uh, promotional uh, uh, discount codes out there uh, all that being said uh, this was a foul mouth fishing episode that I was hoping not to have to make a little bit of a rant but I'm not that pissed although I'm not exactly pleased so uh, y'all have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving uh, keep your lines tight keep your rods taut and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast foul mouth fishing